Hi guys, and welcome back for another video. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you guys what I packed for my three boys to go on a five day trip. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Michelle. Welcome to my channel. I am a mommy of three boys, like I had mentioned, a 12 month old, a seven year old, as well as an eight and a half year old. Life gets crazy, it gets hectic, and when it comes to packing for boys, I have noticed you need loads and loads of extra clothes because they can get quite messy. I got inspiration to film this video by a few other YouTubers. I love watching YouTube videos on packing and mommy and organization and lifestyle. And I also film those types of videos. So if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe and stick around. So we go to our lake house several times a year during the summertime, actually a lot. So we're doing a lot of packing and unpacking. So I thought I would show you guys the necessities that we end up bringing with us every single time, as well as share with you guys some items that we have there all the time that we don't have to pack. Anyways, without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so I have it laid out here on my bed just to show you guys so you guys can see everything. We are lucky in a way that we're there most weekends and a lot of the time during the summer. So we keep diapers and wipes and toothbrushes and like soap and lotion and all of that stuff there. There's only a few medicinal items that we will be bringing, but typically we leave most stuff there. So I'm gonna start off with Easton's, my 12 month old stuff. Um, just because he has more when you're packing and you're going away to a beach or wherever with little ones It's very important to bring doubles and triples because you never know if they're gonna get dirty or messy or wet or whatever It might be with little ones. So I'm gonna start off with his stuff. All right So if I start at the top here, we're gonna bring his dome sound machine. We bring it all the time We just opted not to buy a second one only because it's super easy to carry around and um, We're saving money that way. So we just travel with it we are also bringing this um, Safe for Kids Deep Free um, No Bite Me stuff. It's a bug repellent and after bite cream. I'm not sure if it's gonna zoom. Um, not sure if you'll see that, there you go. Bug repellent and after bite cream. It's effective on black flies, mosquitoes, fleas, and ticks. And it's made of all natural ingredients. It has cedar oil, lemongrass oil, geranium oil, uh, mint oil, clove oil, and rosemary. And that's basically what it is. <laughs> So it's safe for the kids and actually smells like quite nice. And we carry this around everywhere. It was really expensive. It was like $20 for the little container. So we just use one and we typically leave it in Easton's diaper bag. All right, so we're also bringing a Webinub. We actually bring two, but he's sleeping with the other one right now. So just a Webinub in his bag. And he's got two sun hats with ties that are um, UV 50 rated, which are perfect for the beach and the water. Um, we also bring some extra wipes for him or some extra washcloths and stuff for his face that we can bring or um, for his bath. We also have this soother if he's swimming or something and he needs it and we don't want to get his other ones wet, then we'll just use this. I also bring two pairs of socks. Now, it's anywhere between 85 and 110 degrees right now, so they're probably not going to wear socks, but it's better to be safe than sorry. I'm also bringing a muslin, which I absolutely love. He sleeps with one every day and nap, like it's kind of his comfort thing. But I also use them for a number of things. I love them. And we are bringing his muslin um, Aiden and Anai um, sleep sack as well. Has a little arms and zipper and stuff. So we're also bringing that. As for pajamas, we are bringing two short sleeved um, and short pajamas. We're also bringing three longer pajamas. Um, again, you never know what it's going to be like. We have air conditioning. You don't know how hot or cold it's going to be in the evening and in the morning. As for clothes, I absolutely love these for the hot weather. They're like little tank top um, baby girls or onesies or diaper shirts, whatever you call them. We're bringing four of these because these are perfect for the very hot weather. And then we're also bringing four regular rompers as well. As for swimsuits, all three boys have three swimsuits. Again, we're gonna be there anywhere between four to five days, but um, they'll have time to dry and we can quickly rinse them off and stuff if they get really dirty. And he also has a pair of like these light cotton pants in case a morning or an evening can get cold and one sweater. Again, we haven't needed to use these in the past month, but it's always better to have them in case it does get chilly. And here we just have three regular um, onesies or baby girls and we keep these um, just in case everything else gets dirty or he wants to get dirty. These are like very cheap, generic 
I paid like a dollar a piece kind of style, so I'm not too worried about those. And then we're also bringing his new 360 sippy cup. He's had the one with the handles for a while, but this is a 12 months plus, and he needed a second one. So we're gonna bring that. And this is just a long sleeve bib in case he's getting messy doing something. All right, so that's it for the baby. And like I said, we keep stuff there, so we're not bringing diapers and wipes and all of that stuff. But for clothes, for four or five days, this is basically what we're gonna need. Moving on to the older boys. I've got them separated. I've got my seven-year-old stuff here, and then the eight-year-old stuff there, and then I always have some extras. All right, so both boys have enough underwear to last all of the days. Um, my oldest actually has underwear there, so that's why I'm not packing so many of them. But they both have enough underpants for the dura duration of our trip. They also both have two pairs of socks, we're bringing their running shoes, but they probably won't use them. Like I said, they live in their in their sandals. They also both have three swimsuits that we're going to be bringing. Like I said, we have a clothesline. We can dry them all off. As for pajamas, they both have three long pants pajamas and a short sleeved shirt. And they both have a um, short pair of pajamas as well, like um, shorts and a tee. And um, that should be fine. Like they don't only need about three pairs of pajamas. We can probably reuse pajamas on days that they've showered and whatnot. So I'm not concerned. So Aiden's got his pajamas there and Alex's pajamas are all here. Hi guys and welcome back for another video. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you guys what I packed for my three boys to go on a five day trip. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Michelle. I've got a 12 month old. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Michelle. I have a 12 month old, a seven year old, as well as an eight and a half year old. And we go to our, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Michelle. I've got a 12 month old, a seven year old, as well as an eight and a half year old. They are all boys. They need loads of stuff, loads of clothes. And we go to our lake house, our trailer, our home away from home several times a year, actually very, very often. So we are packing and unpacking quite a bit so I kind of hi guys and welcome back for another video so in today's video I thought I would share with you guys what I packed for my three boys to go on a five-day trip for those of you who don't know me my name is Michelle welcome to my channel I am a mommy of three boys like I had mentioned a 12 month old a seven year old as well as an eight and a half year old Life gets crazy, it gets hectic, and when it comes to packing for boys, I have noticed you need loads and loads of extra clothes because they can get quite messy. I got inspiration to film this video by a few other YouTubers. I love watching YouTube videos on packing and mommy and organization and lifestyle, and I also film those types of videos, so if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe and stick around. So we go to our lake house several times a year during the summertime, actually a lot, so we're doing a lot of packing and unpacking, so I thought I would show you guys the necessities that we end up bringing with us every single time, as well as share with you guys some items that we have there all the time that we don't have to pack. Anyways, without further ado, let's jump right into it. As for clothes, they both have four outfits, I believe. Yeah, one, two, three, four. And I like to do the shirt and the shorts together only because it's super easy for them in the morning to just grab something that matches and that fits. And I normally tuck them inside each other, like I'll put the shirt inside the shorts so it's easy for them like this just to grab an outfit but I want to show you guys like how I like what I'm packing so that's why I didn't do it like that so they all have four t-shirts and four pairs of shorts and Alex's are right here as well so he's got a little bit more but um, that's all right and then they each both have like a long sleeved shirt like just a thin light long sleeve shirt and then a pair of long pants in case it gets cooler or there's a lot of mosquitoes and we want to kind of protect their skin. These ones are my oldest's long sleeve and long pants as well. And they both have like a hoodie as well that's going to keep them nice and warm. I know most of the clothes that you guys are probably seeing is Under Armour brand. We've got an Under Armour right here close by in our outlet mall. And the sales are absolutely ridiculous and so comfy and the clothes holds up so well that the boys only want to wear that so most of their clothes if you can see is all under armor but whatever that's fine it works and then here I also have a few extra t-shirts now I've got one two three for my middle son my seven-year-old and then two for my oldest son and that is just extras I find that they'll get dirtier on their top instead of like their bottoms 
So I just pack a bunch of extra shirts and then if I don't use them, we just take them home. So as for like medicinal stuff, we do have quite a bit there, but I just wanted to show you like what we would bring. We have Tylenol, we have Advil there as well, um, which is always good to have when you have little ones. And then we have this allergy formula, which is like the Benadryl, but the um, generic brand, which is also good. You never know what they're going to get bit by or what they're going to react to. I always bring kids gravel. Again, you don't, you never know, and it's better to be safe. I've got this afterbite for kids, but we don't really use this anymore. We use the other stuff I showed you guys in the beginning because it's more natural and safer for their skin. And then we have this antiseptic peroxide and just some uh, tissues, some Kleenex or whatever. <laughs> tissues, Kleenex, whatever you want to call them. And um, other things we have there, like I said, all their toiletries. We've got like band-aids, safety, safety kit. Um, like baby powder for rashes and all of that type of stuff. So that's all there. And then as for entertainment, um, they brought Monopoly with them. You never know if it's going to rain or if they want to play a game. And then they each have their book that they're reading right now. And they each have their headphones and their iPad. This is the iPad we use for Easton right now. We actually need to get a really good case. So let me know in the comments down below a case that they can actually... Um, use like that will attach in the car and that the baby can actually use and not destroy the iPad. But yeah, the boys are actually gone right now out and they want to bring their iPads with them. And that is why I don't have their iPads right here. All right guys, so that is all I had to share with you guys for what I ended up packing for my three boys for about a five day trip. Uh, if you guys are new to my channel, like I mentioned in the beginning, I would love to have you subscribe and join in on all of our fun. I post mommy and lifestyle videos here on my channel weekly. And I would love to have the support. See you later, guys. In the morning, like a warning, could have slept here for days.